Hi, I'm Claudia Cristalli for Virtual Immersion in Science, aka VES, the outreach project of the Scuola Normale Superiore. Quasars are among the most luminous sources in the universe and are powered by a central massive black hole accreting the surrounding gases. Prof. Xu Bing Wu of Beijing University and his collaborators have identified the most luminous quasar with the most massive central black hole of the early universe. We have Chiara Ferruglio, a postdoc researcher at SNS, explain us this recent discovery and its implications for cosmology. A monster black hole with a mass of 12 billion suns has been discovered using the large binocular telescope in Arizona. This supermassive black hole, called J0100 plus 2802, is detected at an epoch when the universe was only 900 million years old, which is about 7% of its age. It has a mass 10 times greater than the most massive black holes known in the early universe. But what are supermassive black holes? They are extremely massive and compact sources. They have mass comparable to the mass of a typical galaxy, but contained in a region which is 10,000 times smaller than the typical galaxy size. They accrete the surrounding material into the huge gravitational potential, and the energy released powers the so-called quasars. Now, is it the galaxy that forms first and then it feeds the central massive black hole? Or is it the black hole that forms first and then the galaxy forms around it? This is an open question and a typical chicken-egg problem in astrophysics. The fact that for this extreme black hole no galaxy is seen around it tells us that in this case is the black hole that formed first and at very early epochs. There will always be larger and larger massive black holes discovered and they will tell us more about the formation of the first structures in the universe. So stay tuned.